my channel for those of you that are returning and welcome to those of you that are new. My name is Ardicia Renee and here you'll find all type of content that range from lifestyle to plus size fashion and beauty. So if that is content that you love to watch, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up and make sure you go ahead and leave me a cute little comment and make sure you guys are following me on all of my social media platforms because there I do post every single day just about and you get to keep up with your girl. So as you see by the title, we are talking all of my favorite things that I love as far as fashion and fall. When it comes to fall, sometimes it can be very, very difficult to style yourself sometimes because, you know, you're kind of in between and here lately in New Jersey, it has not been feeling too much like fall. It has been feeling like fall one day, winter the next day, summer for like three days. Like the weather cannot make up its mind. So I just feel like these pieces here that I am going to talk about in this video today will definitely get you through those crazy times. Jumping straight into the video, we are going to start off with one of my favorite things to wear in fall. And if you've been following me for a while or follow me on social media, you know I love me a good pair of faux leather pants, okay? Like, they are just the most transit best transitional piece that anyone can have, honestly. Because, you know, I feel like the faux leather, like it gives you it, it just gives you a vibe like I don't know like you could you could just do so many different things with a pair of full leather pants and the two styles that I am going to be talking about today and that I'm going to show you I have a pair of skinny slash straight leg and then I have a pair of um, jogger style now the jogger style comes in handy when I want to wear a boo and I want the boot to show because it gives me that you know ruffle look at the bottom near the ankle and it also allows me to show off the boot and the skinny slash straight style I feel like it's just such a great piece to definitely have because you can put it with a mule you can put it with a heel you can put it with sneakers like you can dress it up you can dress it down like I just love the skinny slash straight leg version of the faux leather pants now <laughs> conveniently all of the faux leather pants that i'm showing you here i got them from target um i think one pair they're not selling anymore but definitely i will have just about everything that i can find linked down below so that you are able to show continuing on with pants i am going to jeans Jeans is definitely another one of those staple pieces that you should have in your closet, whether it's for, you know, summer, spring, fall, winter, whatever, because you just always need a good pair of jeans. Now, my favorite pair of jeans, I will definitely have to say, does come from Target. I love Target's jeans. The Ava and Viv, those are my favorite pair of jeans. Majority of my jeans are Ava and Viv or either Old Navy. When it comes to jeans, it is definitely important to make sure you have different styles. And when I say different styles, I mean different wash, whether they are distressed or not distressed, whether they're skinny, whether they're regular, whether they're mom jeans, whether they're boyfriend jeans, it is definitely important to have a plethora of different options for jeans. Now for me, I love me a good pair of distressed jeans. And the reason why I think I love them so much is because you could easily, easily pair them with just a plain t-shirt. And because the jeans are distressed, it just adds that pop of oomph to the outfit and you don't really have to do much. Or if you like to wear a um, graphic tee, then you go ahead and you opt for the non-distressed jeans to put on with that because I don't know, just maybe is it just me i'm not quite sure y'all let me know down below in the comments but i feel like when you put on distressed jeans that have too much distress in them and then you have like a graphic tee that has a lot going on the outfit just becomes too much so i just feel like when you have you know a really cute graphic tee it is best to put it with a regular pair of non-distressed jeans now as far as the wash go for the jeans, I have my three tops. 
I have a black pair. You always need you a good black pair of jeans. I have me a light pair of wash jeans and I love me a like medium to dark pair of wash jeans. I feel like if you have those three different styles of wash and one that's distressed and one that's not distressed, then you're golden. Moving on to the tops. Um, first and foremost, we are going to talk about my favorite tops ever that I picked up from Amazon. And I do have them linked in my Amazon storefront. So if you want to shop, make sure you go ahead and shop them because let me tell you something these shirts can go from day to night to club to church to going out with the boyfriend to any occasion and i got these off of amazon for a church convention and oh my god i fell in love with them i mean the stretch of them they are long sleeve but they are very lightweight so it's not heavy you know you don't get all sweaty from wearing them like these shirts are absolutely amazing and if you are following me on tiktok then you absolutely have seen these shirts before continuing on with shirts me i am a graphic tee girl i love me a good graphic tee and the top two places that i shop for my graphic tees are either target or walmart and I'm going to give you a little secret, but don't tell anybody, okay? <laughs> I shop in the men's section for the graphic tees. For some reason, the graphic tees in the men's section just, they hit different, okay? Like, they are just so nice. They are comfortable. I love to have them a little bit oversized. It, it just... They are just amazing in the men's section. The women's section, sometimes you can find a couple cute options, but the men's section, for some reason, they go hard in the men's section. Like, I absolutely love them. Now, some of my graphic tees, I will say, I definitely customized because it was definitely a graphic tee that I seen a lot like going around on social media and just you know on people just walking around and i thought it was really cute but i wanted to make it a little bit different so if you have a shirt like that i would definitely say try the uh tie-dye bleaching method which is what i did and it just gave the shirt life and it made it you know very different and it gave it its own individual style from you know just the plain basic graphic tee that i bought from the store last but not least we are going to talk about shoes okay the shoes are important for the fall now I'm gonna let you in on a little tip okay like I said earlier in the video sometimes fall can be very unpredictable depending on where you live I know some states there's not even a such thing as fall okay so when it comes to fall and when fall is approaching don't just go and run to you know go ahead and put away those summer shoes because you might have to bring them back out <laughs> and it is very important especially to me and i definitely feel like it's important when it comes to my wardrobe that i leave a couple of you know pieces from the previous season in the closet because you just never know and i'm very happy that i did that so the very first style of shoe that i'm going to talk about is a heel now if you don't wear heels you know it's okay you know you can skip ahead to the next part but my favorite heel to always have in my closet and always have on hand no matter the season is a black heel i love a black heel i love a black pump i also like to buy them in different height ranges just so you know i can have options but a black heel is important for year round you need you a good sturdy comfortable black heel the next heel you're definitely going to need is a cute nude heel nude and black are like staples they literally can go with any and every just about any and every outfit that you put together and they are super duper important and it's definitely you know a timeless item to have in your wardrobe we all know once fall hits here comes the booties <laughs> we love us a good booty okay like what is fall if you don't wear a pair of booties right <laughs> 
I personally love to get my booties from DSW. I love to get them from Marshalls. I love to get them from TJ Maxx because you just find such a good steal on a booty. And to me, y'all let me know in the comment section if y'all don't think I'm, you know, correct. But to me, the booties is definitely dedicated to fall. So I don't want to go spending, you know, $150 to $200 on a pair of booties that I'm going to wear for maybe a month or maybe with this weather, <laughs> maybe not even a month. I might wear them, you know, just one time and that's it. So I definitely feel like when you shop for um, season specific items, you definitely should be very conscious of how much you're spending on. When it comes to a booty, I love a good booty with a heel, and I love a cute booty with a very low profile type of heel. Now the booties, I definitely, definitely, definitely love to have two styles in my closet. I love to have like a boot booty, and I love to have a heel booty, because it gives me that option. It gives me, you know, I can wear a booty, but if I don't want to put one on with a heel, then I have an option of one without a heel. And I think that's very important. Options are very, very, very important when it comes to your wardrobe. So we went from the heels to the booties, and now we're going to the flats. I am becoming a flat girl. I never in my wildest dreams thought I would become a flat girl. But... I'm becoming her and my first you know very first pair of flats that I absolutely love is a mule I love a mule because you can dress it up you can dress it down like you could put on a simple little jogger set put on a cute trench coat mules in a bag and you look sharp okay like the mule just give you that option and I know I am that girl that loves to have pieces that I can get you know different options from one item and it just it just makes my day. I have me one pair from Target that I love the most because it has fur inside, so it's giving Gucci vibes, but without the Gucci price. I just love me a good mule. Last but certainly not least, who would I be if I did not discuss sneakers? Now, I don't think I've really showed or shared this much on my channel or even on my Instagram, but I love sneakers. Like, one of my closets is full of sneakers like nothing but sneakers I love me a good pair of sneakers and I think it came from like obviously my brother my brother is a super duper duper huge sneaker head so it definitely came from him because I see him with a pair I'm like oh those is hot I need to get those <laughs> and my love kind of grew from that but y'all I love me a good pair of sneakers and we all know when it comes to buying sneakers it can become outrageous when it comes to the price and how much you're spending on sneakers so I go by a rule okay I have three sections that the sneakers need to fit in and if it don't then I just don't get it because to me I mean I work in a hospital every day so it's not like I'm wearing these sneakers you know every single day and you know able to go out and like no I wear them mostly on the weekend, and if I do go out during the week, it's probably for like an hour or so, so they don't get much wear. So I don't feel the need, okay, just to buy every single pair of sneakers that I like. If that's what you like, that's your prerogative, you do you, okay? <laughs> but me, no, I'm not gonna do that. So the three categories that I go by is one, which is the most important, is how comfortable they are, okay? Two, if I am able to pair them, you know, with a dress up outfit or a dress down outfit. And three, whether it is a neutral color. So the three pair of sneakers that I love the absolute most um, and that I'm showing here today is a pair of New Balances. My husband got these. I absolutely love them. They're so stinking cute. And they definitely were, you know, summer, fall, maybe a little bit of winter um, shoe. And I just love that because... I can wear it for multiple seasons and it's not just sitting in the closet, you know, for all the rest of the seasons and I can only wear it for one season. 
I love that about this shoe. My second favorite pair, and this one here was definitely like a, mm, like I don't know if I should get this, and funny story, funny backstory. Um, I was with my two girlfriends, Leah and Carolyn, and we went to the city, and they actually bought a pair of these sneakers, and I was like, y'all are crazy. I'm not paying five, six hundred dollars for a dirty pair of sneakers. Ain't no way. Y'all, maybe like a year, not even a year. No, maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe about a year or two later, I was like, oh, I really do like those sneakers. I really do. <laughs> So I eventually ended up buying them and they are the Golden Goose sneakers. Now I love these because they have a platform and I'm a short girl. So a platform sneaker definitely makes my day. I absolutely love them. I could dress them up, which I have. I've worn them to church with a dress. I could dress them down. I could put on the most, you know, chill outfit, put these on and then make it look like I did something without even doing anything. I love those sneakers. And speaking of a platform sneaker, honey, I love my black and white platform Converse sneakers. Like, they are so comfortable, so easy to walk in, and they just, they, they just do something. It's the platform that, that just gives me life. I love those sneakers so much. Like, I'm telling you, you guys have to go get you a pair of platform sneakers because you will not be sorry i promise you you will not be sorry you will love them and like i stated before i love to you know have something that i can wear multiple ways and that shoe there i've definitely worn to church i've worn out i've worn to a pumpkin patch i've worn to a birthday party like i have done so many different things with these shoes and they just work the next pair of sneakers is a pair of Jordans. Now, I don't know if these are Jordan 1s. Someone correct me down below <laughs> because I don't know the technicality of the sneakers, but I love these sneakers. I seen my brother had them on and I was like, oh, those are dope. I definitely need to get them because one, they're cute, they're black, so we can put them with a lot of things. And they are like shiny. They have like little sparkles inside of them. And I mean, hello that is like right up my alley so I was like I definitely have to get those sneakers because they are so stinking cute all right you guys and that is the video I really hope you guys were able to get something out of it again everything that is linkable will be linked below down in the description box and thank you again for clicking on this video and watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe make sure you guys are following me on my social media accounts and I'll see you guys in the next video